<laughs> what is up, guys? Luis here, aka Speedy, back with another video. Um, Teddy, what are you doing? I was gonna record that Q and A uh, video, but um, I came to visit my mom here in El Paso, so I was like, oh, I might as well vlog while I'm out here. And guys, I wanted, well, I wanted to have her on camera real quick and say what's up to you guys, because you guys haven't seen her on camera in a minute. I took your glasses. <laughs> I <laughs> took your glasses. I'm that blind. I took your glasses, bro. <laughs> what are you doing, Milo? You a grandma? You a grandma, Bubba? You a grandma? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Vamos enseñar cómo hacemos el hombre. So, oh my god. Hurry, come show them. Let them. Guys, my mom's been lifting heavy, hard in Mexico. Look at this shit. I cannot beat her on arm wrestling, even if I tried, guys. Look at this shit. All right, you let me know when you're ready, bro. Right you let me know. Yeah, mom, yeah. Look at no, bro, look at that shit. No, you're a fucking bodybuilder. She's you ain't no fucking, you're not even Carmen, it's fucking Carmelo. She's cracking. <laughs> fucking Carmelo. All right, ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, what the fuck? Oh! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I swear, see si me ganas. ¿Qué comes? ¿Qué comes, pinche espinaca? Take. Fucking shit, bro. Fucking fucking shit. Oh, grandma. Oh, <laughs> grandma. <laughs> hey, you look grandma. Oh, yeah, man. Grandma. Round two, round two. Hurry, Ma. Okay, see si me ganas. <laughs> They were going in there. Okay, ready, Ma? Cholo. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ah, damn, Carmen! Come on, fuck! Dale, mi hija, aquí está el jabón. Fuck. No te puedo ganar. Sí, Ma, I swear you're being. Uh, yeah, but the cameraman needs to shower. Alright, bro. Zero and two. She's beating me two times. Alright. This one's for real, Emma. If you beat me this time, I'll buy you a pair of shoes. I'll buy you a pair of shoes if you beat me. I want to try. You can go after if you want. Mocha. Mocha. You weak as fuck, fam. I noticed that. I noticed that. I noticed that. ¿Dónde vas? Voy a echarle paloja. Aunque sea sin pipí, pero que está la cubeta. Damn, you're on a cleaning mode, Hama. Why are you cleaning already, bro? Because... Vení, los popis hacen pipí. Oh my gosh, bro. You're like a freaking Mexican mama. Tired. Ya me cansé. Always cleaning. Ya me cansé. 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 Ya me
Man, today, let's see how good she does. Camera girl. Camera girl. <laughs> She's a camera girl today. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys along just so you can see pretty much what we do when we come here to Juarez. I mean, there's, there's not much to do, obviously, but we make the most out of it. Driving out here in Juarez is, no, I was about to say Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Driving out here in Juarez is no joke. Look at that Starbucks over there. Show me Starbucks. I think the architecture here in Mexico is like, I don't know why, but I feel like it's a little bit better than what it is in the US. For some reason, I don't know why. I feel like the way they build the buildings and all that stuff is a little bit better. It catches my eye more here than, than over there in the US for sure. But um, when you're driving over here in Juarez, you gotta be careful because people are wild. Like they do not care if they hit your car. They really like, they don't care about nothing. So you gotta be an aggressive driver. Chrissy's always giving me crap because I'm an aggressive driver here, but you got to, like you have no choice but to be an aggressive. Look, look, look at this guy, look at that. You see that, look, look, look. <laughs> like I'm telling you, you gotta be aggressive here, or else you're gonna get pushed around. It's crazy, but um, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of you guys have been here to Juarez and stuff. It's a little bit hotter than than what it is over there in Albuquerque because it's right next to Las Cruces, um, so it's a little bit hotter. I messed up because I wore sweats. I should have really worn shorts, honestly. But I mean, it's not. It's not that bad, huh? Like, like, what do you think? I'm wearing shorts. So it's it's pretty warm it really really is i mean i'm not saying it's not but i'm just saying like it's it's do you think it's worse here in albuquerque oh here for sure for sure huh yeah it's a little bit more dry too a little bit uh, what's the word uh, like crusty, crusty? I, feel like, I feel like it's crusty <laughs> i don't think it's crusty <laughs> <laughs> musty 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 crusty and dusty. musty dusty everything it is dusty here too <laughs> it's crusty it's musty it's dusty everything like humid is that what no not no humid. it's not humid at all here no, that's well, like guys, look, look at these, look at these, like, look at these turns right here. Like, look at how small it is compared to, like, over there. Like, look at that. Somebody drove off right there. Damn. It's crazy, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The driving here, it's completely different for sure. That shit is clean, huh? I'm telling you, they have, like, better stuff here. That shit is clean. Guys, we're looking at clothes. <laughs> Tell me that's not. Pink. I know, I'm just saying. It's a pink shirt, It's a salmon color. It's pink though. If you wear purple, you could wear pink. Yeah, no, I know. I would consider that pink. Though. I would consider that pink. What would you consider that? Oh, I forgot to tell them where we're at. We're at the mall. We got here to the mall finally, and it's called Liverpool. That's what the mall is called here. It's a pretty cool, like, mall, but I feel like everything is overpriced here because it's so close to, like, where people have, like, like their appointments for like their citizenships and stuff so yeah i think that's the reason why everything's a little bit more expensive specifically at this mall it's just because it's closer to everything you know or closer to like where people have their their appointments and stuff. this man forgot that's a nice Wait, give him a fit check. Give him a fit check? Hold on. Hold on, Jay. Those are nice. Those are pretty cool. The green ones are kind of cool, too. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Real quick, real quick fit check, guys. So we got the dunks on. When I come out here, I don't like to look too flashy or anything like that. So I just wear like simple stuff. So I'm wearing dunks today. I'm wearing regular Nike sweats. I'm wearing the Inaco Power. Aesthetic shirt is what I lean and Chrissy call it, and my mom. Um, and then I'm just wearing a Lulu crossover just because I keep my wallet in here. All my stuff I keep right here. What are you wearing? What you got? What are you working on? What are you working on? Crocs, some biker shirts from okay. Lululemon, and a White Fox Big D. Oh, sponsored by White Fox. My boy. <laughs> sponsored by White Fox. And then we got the little Virgencita chain. This thing's clean. Clean. But yeah, guys, I don't like to do too much when I come out here. I just like to keep it plain and simple. I don't even let her dress crazy or anything like that. I don't even let my sister behind the camera, which she's doing a little too much today. But I don't, I don't, I don't really let you guys dress out of pocket because I just don't like that shit. This is the bottoms because it's not going to go over like my shoe. Yeah. Like the pants. What do you guys think? Should you buy them? I think like if the bottoms were in like that, I definitely would. Oh, because you don't like them cuffed, huh? You like them loose. These are clean. These are hard. But then Crazy's gonna make. She's gonna give me shit because look how short they're. <laughs> kind of feel me like all the way up to here. Well, that's because you these have a big butt, Michelle. 
Guys, this is my mom asking my brother for something. What? No! Bro, you just bought you some trees! I'm joking, Cholo me dice que me lo compra algo para que hijo si no lo voy a usar. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, but in my head I really want to force watch for. So pretty. They're oh, gonna to steal be it in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. You have like three at home. Yeah. I have three at home. Can you bring me one? <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're walking up to the movies now. We're gonna go get the movie ticket. That one looks cute, Luca. Okay. But I mean, this movie theater is pretty good, guys. There's this uh, popcorn. There's this. I was gonna say ice cream. There's this popcorn that I've been telling Chrissy about. You get like popcorn here and they throw it, they mix it in with like Takis or Doritos and stuff. It's so freaking good. You're about to see right now. You're about to see right now. It's so freaking good. Pro boxer? Pro boxer? I'm Ryan Garcia. That's Devin Haney. Knocked out. April 20th. Ryan Garcia, the king, is gonna give Devin Haney that smoke, baby. What time? Huh? Going to the VIP section. That's a VIP. I didn't even know they had a VIP. Guys, we're gonna watch a VIP movie today. Oh, look, look. That's what I'm telling you, baby. Chrissy, you if you can, those look good. Ma, did you see the mosquito go? I thought you were behind the camera. I am behind the camera, but the cameraman talks. Oh yeah, Arthur. That's Anderson Palmer's over there. Maybe. It says B. Mira más si la tienen aquí bien, you know. This is nice. Guys, we had the hardest time picking a movie. We were going back and forth because I guess there's two sections in the movie theaters. There's like a VIP section and there's like a regular section. We had a hard time, but we finally picked out a movie. We're watching Kung Fu Panda at 410. And the best part is that it's in Spanish, so. Somebody's gonna have to step up the Spanish game. <laughs> Juanita! <laughs> For the movie. We're going to Cuidado con el Perro. And we're gonna see clothes for me and Chrissy. Their stuff is so cute. My brother's in another store right now. And we're looking. Oh. Guys, so we're going down and we went into the cuidado con el perro and then he yelled at us because we were recording. So we had to put the camera away. But we're back. We're going downstairs. We were looking at rings. Um, we we're looking for another place with rings. Because they were pretty. But then they turned your fingers green. So we'll see. We're getting everything for the movie now. We got the popcorn. Guys, they mixed the popcorn here with Takis and it's so freaking good. We all had to get our own. And then I did a little, a little bit of shopping, nothing really. I just got some sweats, but my cameraman left me. My cameraman ended up calling us Chrissy. I guess she took over my vlog for a bit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go into the movie now, and then after that, we're gonna go eat. We're gonna watch Kung Fu Panda 4 in Spanish. <laughs> like I had mentioned, Chrissy's gonna have to suck it up, man. But uh, yeah, let's see. I haven't watched the movie in Spanish in a minute, but I'll be, I'll be good. It's, it's the cameraman and Chrissy that are the ones that are picky. It's a little bit loud here. Um, I don't know if you can hear my voice that good or not, but we ordered wings. We're sharing 30 wings between my camera girl, Chrissy, and me. We picked 
We picked two different flavors. I'll show you guys once they come out. And then we got fries and stuff. It's a new place. We've never had it. Uh, every time we eat wings here in Juarez, we usually go to Buffalo Wild Wings. But uh, we figured it was going to be pretty good. So we thought we should share something. We should share and try something new. So yeah, we're just waiting for the food to come out right now. I'm a little bit hurt because we were in the movie theater. And then check out what Chrissy did to my shirt. this shirt too and I'm just hurt. So pop up your FedEx shirt. It's not a FedEx shirt, it's a knock of power. Okay, so the wings just got here. We got that honey barbecue, we got that sweet jalapeno and the hot. We got uh, fried pickles and then fries here too so we're getting ready to dig in. We're getting ready to dig in. I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it we'll all rate it at the end. I think so far I give it a five out of ten but we'll see we'll see I don't know. Guys, so I found the freaking soccer store here. I've been trying to find this jersey everywhere over there in the US and I can't find it, but look at this. The man, the myth, the legend. Today's my and Chrissy's four year anniversary and she said she's treating me to a jersey, so I said say less. <laughs> Let's see. I think a large. That's a large right there. It looks like Huh? It looks a little tight. Well, yeah, but I have this the oh. Laker jersey under. I think a large. What do you think? What do you think? Large or XL? I think XL is a little too big. Yeah, it's one more fitted. I think I think large is good. This is the one I'm taking, baby. You need to get yourself a Madrid with this white one. For sure, for sure. He's trying to find me this blue one. But look at what we found for baby Yu Yu. Show him real quick. For my little nephew. <laughs> we might have to put him on. Uh, Kylie's. Yeah, Kylie's. Uh, Chrissy's sister Kylie said he's just started playing soccer, so I think it's only right that we put him on the right way. I don't want him rocking none of this ugly stuff right here. Look at this. If you wear this, stay away from me. Uh, good thing. Good thing it doesn't have the ugly name back here. But if you wear this type of shirt right here with this team, stay away from me. Stay away from me. We only do we only do this right here, baby. This is all we do. That's it. Crazy. Oh he painted God. on Crazy for the messy one. And then he went and got some Miami shorts. <laughs> Guys, I Go up, tell Ronaldo. I He's cheating up, on him. Oh my god. Dude, let me explain. <laughs> they gave me two free shorts and the only black pair they had was Miami I don't shorts. Care if it was free or not, I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I ended up getting two Ronaldo jerseys. I got a Portugal one, and I got the Amazon one. Both white ones that I've been looking for and dying to get. Then I got, well, Chrissy, Chrissy ended up getting a Madrid jersey, um, because we're going to the Madrid game in, in New York. So she ended up getting a Madrid jersey. Getting the two Ronaldo jerseys. Chrissy got a Madrid one for the uh, Madrid game in August. And then I ended up getting my little nephew, Yuyu, a Ronaldo jersey. And then we got our other nephew, Christian, another uh, Madrid uniform. Getting some cheese right now because we don't have a shredder, but I'm using a fork, so we're making it work. Like that? Like this? Like broke like this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me another fork and I could do two of them. Where's the fork? Dennis, what is that? What are you guys even making? Sopin? Guys, my mom's cooking is the go-to for sure. Haven't had sopin like this in forever. This is a must. You guys already know the deal. We had to come to the movies again. We came to a different movie theater this time. Uh, we're gonna watch a different movie. We're watching a comedy movie this time. It's not gonna be Kung Fu Panda, but I'm very excited. My left eye contact is hurting me too, guys. You might see me go like this, or you might see me blink a lot. It's because that contact, it's dried up. I wear these like glass contacts that need liquid in them for it to be comfortable for me to watch them. They dried out. Uh, so it's a little bit tough right now. Um, last night after the movie, we fell asleep. I was so tired, and I was wearing my contacts. So a lot of the times when I wear my contacts, I'm going to be honest with you guys, my eyes hurt. So I didn't even want to throw them on this morning. I threw my glasses on, and I'm just letting my eyes rest right now. We, uh... We obviously left. Uh, we're across now, so we're in El Paso. We stopped at the outlets. Um, 
We were waiting for Chrissy. She wanted to uh, stop and get, I don't know, I think she said she wanted to go to Kate Spade. She wanted to go to Crocs. And then I always come to Calvin Klein and get underwear here. <laughs> for some reason, I like the underwear there. But we both didn't want to get down because obviously we have the boys. So um, she got down. She's pretty much going to do the shopping. Tim, while Chrissy gets back, guys, look at the little settle back here that we got. <laughs> we put that little bed back there. And then we have, you know, the the... the stuff in the store that we bought over there but we put their little bit right there that's a little setup right there all righty guys so i am back home god that was a long long drive it, it wasn't that long but i do that drive so often like i even have to do it to work sometimes because or for work i should say because sometimes i sell vehicle or i'll sell vehicles that are in las cruces and i'll have to drive them back to albuquerque or vice versa take a vehicle that I've sold here in Albuquerque back to Los Cruces, but I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in Juarez, Dash El Paso. <laughs> so Chrissy, Chrissy ended up getting me some Crocs, right? Pretty comfy, and I think I'm going to use them after my game, so I've been wanting a pair of Crocs. Chrissy got me some Crocs. Shout out to you, babe. Um, I got, there's this store in Juarez, it's called Nova Sport. You Nova know Sport? Let me see. Yeah, it's Nova Sport. And they sell a bunch of cool things. <sighs> Honestly, everything that I got is pretty much soccer related because there's no store here in Albuquerque that sells the stuff that I like. For some reason, they don't even sell good stuff, but I got these Paris Saint Germain. Saint Germain. Um, pretty much like training shorts, like warm up shorts. Like this is stuff that you can go shooting in, I guess, or just wear for a little comfy day. But there's the Paris Saint Germain logo right there, as you can see. Jordan. Right over here, and then right at the bottom has some Paris Saint German lettering, which I think is pretty dope. So I got these shorts to warm up in, right? And let's get to the good stuff. And like I said, I think I showed you guys this stuff, um, but in case I didn't, that's why I'm you know just redoing it that way you guys can see it. I got the one and only, the man, the myth, the mother and legend, Ronaldo, baby. These jerseys. I cannot come across these here in the U.S. at all, at all. Not even if you go online. Like, it takes you to, like, to like some Chinese website to try to order them. I have not seen anybody sell these here. So, you guys already know I had to cop this right here. Look at that. Number seven, baby. This kit is filthy. This is Paris. Oh, no. This, I was going to say Paris Saint Germain. No, this is Alan Nassar's. I think this is their away kit because their home kit is yellow. But look at the design on this thing. This thing is filthy. Filthy. Incredible. I don't even have to I don't even have to explain the reason why I got this jersey right here. You guys should already know why. The best in the game. But this jersey right here. Oh I think this is crazy. This is a rare find right here. And the reason why I had to cop this one is because you can try to find this jersey. Good luck. Portugal. I think this is the 2012 kit they had or 2016 i can't really remember i want to say 2016 though but look at this right here i've always wanted a portugal jersey from this man right here because this guy gave everything to his country the two trophies that he that portugal has are because of this man right here and i think even piquet has this jersey because uh if you don't know if you don't watch soccer because one of his biggest rivals from barcelona who we're about to beat in august I think even he popped out of this jersey in one of his Twitch streams. But this is filthy right here. This jersey, oof. I could make some money if I were to sell it. Low key. But I'm not going to. I'm not that. I'm not that guy. <laughs> and then, guys, I had to get crazy your jersey because I haven't told you guys. I don't think I've told you guys, but we're going to a Real Madrid game in August. And she needed a jersey. So she ended up getting a black Real Madrid jersey. She's pretty, pretty plain and simple, you know, she don't watch soccer, so she didn't get no name in the back or anything like that, but she caught the Black Madrid jersey, and I have the jersey to match to this because when my uncle went to Madrid, Spain, um, probably what, like four, four or five months ago, he went to the Santiago Bernabeu, which is Real Madrid's like training grounds, right, like that's their stadium. I told him to cop me a Modric jersey, and it's like authentic, you know, like as real as it gets, like as real as it gets. Um, and it's the matching jerseys to that, so that's what we're going to wear when we go out there. And then like I had mentioned, 
I got my little nephews some Ronaldo jerseys. Or kits, honestly, they're Ronaldo kits. They're so freaking dope. This is the Al Nazar. I think it's like their extra kit. I'm not it's not their away kit, I don't think. Uh, it's just like a third kit that they have. Like soccer teams usually have three kits in case like they're playing a team that has the same colors and stuff. So I got both of them little Ronaldo jerseys too. Little Nike uh like uniforms because they're both about to play soccer, I guess. And then I got some free shorts. I got some free shorts that they gave me over there. Um over there at the uh, soccer store for purchasing all the jerseys and stuff. I got some Mexico shorts, which I'm going to show you guys. These right here are hard. You guys already know I got to represent my country too. So I got some Mexico shorts. Unfortunately, guys, as you guys heard in the video, because Eileen and Chrissy were giving me shit, I had to get a... This is the only black pair they had right here. Which is, of course, Inter Miami, whack, whack team, whack ass players play for this team right here. Whack ass players only, weak team. So, you guys can either choose, I'll give these away <laughs> to one of my subscribers on here. You guys could see, you guys, I don't know, I might burn these in a video, honestly, low key, because I don't want to keep these. So, I don't know, I might do like a little giveaway. If you're an Inter Miami um, fan, let me know if you are coming in the, in the video and I might give these away to <laughs> To whoever wants them like if it's like four or five people then I might do like a little giveaway thing just because I mean they're no good to me I was gonna wear them you know just to like go to sleep and stuff but I mean I don't I don't really I don't really betray my player like that I just wanted to pretty much get on this video real quick and say like how fortunate we are you know to live the life we live here in the US you know not even just myself but I think everybody around me I don't think we realize how good we have it here um, and every time you know I go over there to Juarez or any type of any anywhere in Mexico to be honest with you it humbles me a lot it really really does because I realize I take some things for granted um and I probably should stop doing that you know what I mean because but everybody does it you know just little things that you don't realize like the clean water that you get here you know the the foods you have here just certain things like that but I think that every day you got to wake up and be grateful for um I didn't even mention this on the camera guys I didn't mention it or on the video I should say until now but we were getting out of the movies and this lady comes up to me right and my family and guys it's so weird this always happens to me when i go over there right and, and keep in mind i don't go over there and dress flashy or anything so i feel like it's a sign of god trying to tell me something when he does this to me because he always does it to me but this lady comes up to me with her son and she goes hey like i really hate to do this you know i really don't like doing this but i have to do it she goes, do you think I could have some money to feed my kids? So a lot of the times in situations like that, I am I got trust issues. So I don't really give out money like that unless I feel the need to. So I said, okay, your son is hungry. Like, let me take you guys to eat. So we go up to the food court. Um, she was like, yeah, yeah, like, that's fine. That's completely fine. And so we're up there, right? And the little kid, he's whispering something to his mom. But obviously, I, I mean, I could tell they're probably embarrassed. I, I don't know. I mean... Put yourself in that situation. How would you feel if you were having to ask people to buy you food and things like that, you know? So we're going up to the food court and uh, the mom tells me, she goes, um, is it okay if we get KFC? And I go, yeah, that's fine. She, uh, she goes, do you think you can get me like the 12 piece, like family pack? And I looked at her, you know, because it's like, God damn, like, you know, you, you got to have a lot of like, you got to put a lot of your pride aside. You got to put a lot of your like dignity aside, you know, to be asking people for, for food like that. But for some reason, you know, like, it was just sad. It was sad to me because I put myself in situations where I'm like, I'm like, I remember when we first got here to the U.S., you know, my mom didn't have, like, money. And I'm not saying she has money now, but, like, I mean, we were very unfortunate. Like, I remember I used to go to school and, like, wear the knockoff shoes or, like, the Walmart clothes. You know, just little things like that that I remember from when I was a kid. So I think that's why I got a good heart now and I help people out. Um, but then she comes over again. As I'm ordering the food and she goes, hey, she goes, I, I know I already asked you for food. She goes, but I have two kids at home that I also need to feed. She goes, they're just not out here with me. She goes, do you think you can get me like something to go? Because I was going to order it for there. And I was like, oh, for sure. So I ended up ordering her, like, I think it was like a 36 piece, like chicken combo, whatever that came with, like, you know, the mashed potatoes gravy, you know, just the basic KFC stuff. Um, but I, I felt really bad, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's just something about situations like that where you got to have the courage to just go out and even ask people for help. So 
I mean, I started having a conversation with her. She, of course, she says she worked. It's, over there in Mexico, it's different. It's not really like a nine to five. It's more like a like a nine to nine or a nine to eight. You know what I mean? It's a little bit longer than what you work here in the U.S. Um, but yeah, I mean, she got off work early that day, and she said she was getting paid the day after that, which is today. She was supposed to be getting paid today because I ordered her the food on Saturday. Today's Sunday. Um, and she was like, yeah, but I mean, I don't make enough to, to make, you know, ends meet, you know, she goes, I got to pay rent. And then of course I got to pay for my kid's school and stuff. So I didn't mind doing that. And I never mind doing stuff like that. And I didn't even record it because as you guys saw, I think it was my cameraman, my little sister, but I don't care about recording stuff like that because I feel like, you know, some people might take it in the wrong way, you know, and be like, oh, he's using it for publicity, you know, or he's using it so people can see that he's doing that stuff. That's why I don't record none of that stuff, you know what I mean? And then on top of that, like, imagine how she's going to feel with her son. Like, I'm recording her, buying her food. Like, a, a lot of that stuff I like to do in private. A lot of that stuff I like to do behind the scenes because I, that's stuff that I do every day. I don't just do it in what is. I do that type of stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. You can ask people that know me. People that hang around me, you can ask Chrissy, you can ask my family. I always be doing stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I try to do it at least once or twice when I go out to Juarez just because it's different. Um, it's, it's very different when I choose to help people because I only choose to help people that I feel like really need it. If I see like a guy that comes up to me and he's rocking like new Nikes and like new clothes, you know, and he has like an iPhone and he's asking for money, like I'm probably not going to help that type of person just because to me like... You know, it doesn't seem like you need it, but if I see, like, the lady and her son, you know, they had beat-up shoes, dirty shoes, you know, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't care to help, but it just brought back, like, a lot of memories, like, of when my mom was a single mom, and, and she had two jobs, you know, my mom, I, I don't know, a lot of you guys don't know this, but my mom spent 20 years working for McDonald's, like, that's something that, you know, I never came out to say, and there's still so much stuff that I haven't even shared on this channel about me, um, that you guys don't even know that eventually I think over, you know, over time you guys probably will know, but there's so much behind the scenes that you guys don't even know about me. Like you guys, I barely started doing this whole YouTube thing and I started showing a lot of the successes and stuff, but it took a lot to get to where I am. Like it really, really did. Like, and, and even then I'm still not where I want to be. Even now I still don't even feel successful, but I'm grateful for what I have because it's something that I didn't have then, you know, but like I said, I think over time. Um, a lot of the things that I've been through, you know, I've gone through, I mean, I think I will show those, those, uh, those things at some point, you know, throughout my channel, but, you know, it's just things like that, that, like I said, I don't record, you know, um, just because, like I said, I think it's just stuff that I have to do behind the scenes. Maybe one day I might do like, you know, I might go to like a shelter and like give out food and things like that, which is different, but things like that, like those are things one-on-one -on -one that I enjoy, that I believe God asks me to do. You know, and I think he puts me in the situation where I am now, you know, to be lucky enough and fortunate enough, but not only to bless me, my family, but to bless other people. Like, I think that's dope. I think everyone should really do that. And like I said, you don't have to show it, but I think if we all start off doing things like that, I think, you know, we can all benefit from that. You know, we can help hungry people out in the streets, you know, homeless people, you know, just different things like that, you know, um, I'm kind of ranting on here, <laughs> on and on and stuff like that, but stay tuned for the next video. That's going to be the Q&A uh, video where a lot of you have asked me a lot of questions, and I forgot to get a lot of the questions down, so I, I think I'm going to do another poll on my Instagram for more questions that you guys had asked. Um, if you want to re-ask again, that way I can get them all down because, like I said, I didn't get all of them, but um, that's going to be the end of my video. Um, that was pretty much a weekend you know, that I spent with my mom over there in, in Juarez, and I know I didn't really vlog a lot, sorry. Um, I just tried to spend a lot of time with my mom. I haven't seen her in about five months. And I usually get to see her every two, three months. But it's been a little bit longer just because, you know, I've been getting a little bit busy with work and stuff. But I'm sure you guys will be seeing more of that. I've done it before on my YouTube channel in the beginning. Um, so, yeah, just stay tuned for more videos like that. But the Q&A video, that will be the one that's up next. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys don't mind, make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment to see who wants those <laughs> into Miami um, shorts. Because like I said, if it's like four or five of you, I'm going to do a giveaway and just give them away because I don't, I'm not going to rock them. Um, and just make sure you keep subscribing to my YouTube channel, guys. It makes my day knowing that you guys are enjoying the videos, enjoying the content that I'm putting out. Um, and yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support and stuff. But, um... Keep staying tuned for the channel, guys. Uh, once again, Luis here, aka Speedy out. Peace.